clothes. Clothes. Clean clothes. Clean clothes. Cliff and Claire. Cliff and Claire. Cliff and Claire have clean clothes. Cliff and Claire have clean clothes. There's going to be a most healthy child competition here. These children want to take part. I'd like to enter. You, Tom? Of course. You're too thin. Tom is very healthy. You can enter as well, Mary. Me? I'm too fat. No, you're not. You are just right, Mary. You're like me. Not fat, not thin. We are healthy. Yes, let's all enter. You, Peter? You're a little fat, but you're healthy. You can enter too. OK. Let's go and get some entry forms. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, well, well. Who's the most healthy child? Hmm. Who's the most healthy child? Look out for the most healthy child in this program. Later on, you'll have to write down the answer in your pupil's notes. I think, mm, I guess, Tom. No, Mary. Jack. Peter? Lily? I don't know. We'll see. She's out. Lily's got bad eating habits. He's clean. Tom keeps himself clean all the time. Good. What's he doing? Exercises. Uh, oh, oh. Tom does exercises every day. That's why he is a strong boy. He drinks milk every day. 
Good. Oh, no. Tom mustn't do that. He'll get bad eyes. Ah, that's right. Good shot. Peter's a healthy boy. He plays games every day. He also drinks a lot of water. Very good. What's he doing? He's eating an apple. So he eats a lot of fruit every day. Very, very good. But he hasn't washed his hands. Peter's not very clean. a nice clean girl so Mary keeps herself clean all the time Mary washes her hair every day very good hey she washes her clothes every day oh she cleans her shoes every day. <laughs> hmm. What a clean girl. Look what I've got. I've got some nice chips. Try some. No, I don't want any chips. I want to be the most healthy child. But I'm doing my exercise. Please go. Oh, come on. Oh. Mary is not very nice, is she? Jack is a good boy. He dresses properly. <coughs> and he eats properly. He sits properly. And he reads properly all the time. Good. Jack has a lot of good habits. Jack, let's play. No, Tom, I must read my book. Come on, let's play ball. I'm tired. Tired? You need some exercise. I don't want to move around. Tom, let's go to the park. OK. Well, Jack never plays. And he doesn't do any exercise. I don't think he's very strong. So, who is the most healthy child? Hmm. We'll now look at some examples of good health. 
Please repeat after me aloud. He keeps himself clean all the time. He keeps himself clean all the time. He changes his clothes every day. He does some exercises every day. He eats properly all the time. He sits properly all the time. He does his homework properly all the time. Height good. Weight good. Breathe in, breathe out. Eyes. Ears. Teeth good. Arms and legs good. Very good, Bunny. You're a healthy child. Now turn to your pupil's notes number one. We'll look at the children again and see if they follow the rules of good health. First, Lily. Now watch carefully. Does she sit properly all the time? Yes. Then write yes in the pupil's notes. All right? Does she eat properly all the time? No. Then write no in the blank. Now watch Tom. Does he keep himself clean? Does he eat properly? Does he play every day? Does he sit properly all the time? Now watch Peter carefully. Does he play games every day? Does he keep himself clean all the time? Now watch Mary carefully. Does she do some exercises every day? Does she eat properly? Now watch Jack carefully. Does he keep himself clean all the time? Does he play every day? Now use the answers here to choose the most healthy child. 